What is going on hustlers? I am back with a, another video for you guys. And this video today is going to be about Gary Vaynerchuk's $1.80 strategy and my result of doing it after one week. So what I did was I didn't do fully just what he said to do, which was go on the top nine, you know, best pictures in their hashtag, join the community, comment on those, those photos and like reply to people. I did that, but I didn't just do the top nine hashtags. I also went as far as going on to YouTube comments as well. So I would go on like Gary Vaynerchuk videos as most of you guys probably found me from to begin with. Uh, I always go on Gary Vaynerchuk videos or Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, all the big time, big name entrepreneurs. I get on those videos and I'm always replying to comments, always giving value, giving posts, comments, replies, always trying to help out as much as I can. So instead of just keeping it just Instagram, I did it with YouTube as well. So uh, my results were kind of skewed. It wasn't just Instagram. So it's hard to like track exactly where uh, people came from, where the results came from, but I'm going to just show you guys exactly what I did. I got some pictures here in this video to show you guys. So uh, let's just jump right into it. So this first picture here, we got Gary Vaynerchuk video that we just posted up recently. Uh, I made like, you know, like a little comment saying, you know, let's just not watch Gary build his Death Star because he's always talking about like Death Star, like that analogy. Uh, we should all be building our own Death Stars, like our own networks, our own communities and stuff like that. So just a simple comment like that. Uh, I always like my own comment just to get that extra boost, that plus one like can go a long way. So I made a value giving comment like that, pretty much just like, encouraging people to hustle hard, work hard and up. Uh, People love it, you know, people really liked it. So they start liking it, liking it, commenting. And uh, I do this for every video, every single video. I'm always on there trying to add value, give value to you guys and uh, his followers. So in hopes that, you know, they'll probably check me out too. And it works. So anyway, that's this video. And uh, let's scroll on to the next one here. This one is same video, but this is me replying to someone on the same video that you guys just saw. And this dude, or this girl I should say, says uh, that she's excited to see uh, what's to come of this meeting. Redman's a hip hop legend, so I reply instead of you know saying something random or something you know completely out of the ordinary. I kind of keep it very simple on topic. So I said Redman keeps it real, which he does, and I also ask a question to engage her. So I'm also trying to engage her as well by asking questions. You're trying to engage people. You know, it doesn't leave the conversation dead. But a lot of people that did the 180 strategy was they were finding that over time they would lose the people that they were trying to engage with lose interest in what they had to say. The conversation would die down. So by asking asking questions, it kind of keeps it going, gets them to engage a little bit. So that's what I did there. So that's that picture there. And scroll to the next picture. So this is a picture of one of the hashtags I was following, uh, hashtag entrepreneur to be exact. And this is just one of those photos that got, you know, a lot of likes. So, you know, engaging in the community here. Um, you know, I don't know if you can see the very top tippy top comment there, but basically just saying something about motivation and how motivation is really good. But I say, yes, it is. But execution is everything. So instead of just, you know, being motivated, you got to execute as well. And that's equally as important, if not more important. You know, then a, another comment here, uh, you know, awesome post. I look forward to connecting more. I respond. It's all about networking. Let's connect. So not only am I engaging with that comment, uh, that person's comment, but I'm also uh, trying to engage further by trying to connect with that person, build relationships. Um, so a lot of people also run into the issue of like, what do I say? What do I reply? You know, if a person says this on a comment, how should I reply to that? It, you guys are overthinking it. It needs to be simple. Make it simple. It just if someone says something like truth, like how the hell am I going to respond to that? What do I say to the to the word truth? And what do I say? I say, well, yes, I agree. I hope you're crushing your goals. Simple as that. You know, don't overthink what you have to reply. Keep it very simple. All right. So that's that picture there. We go on to the next one here. This, I believe, is the uh, comment section of the latest Gary Vaynerchuk picture. And um, you know, people are saying, you know, congrats. It was a great year because he made a post about how 2017 was a great year and he's excited for 2018 so you know this is like a this is like the jackpot here for those who are trying to engage with people the Gary Vaynerchuk Instagram comment section is the place to be so I go ahead and I make my comment you know congrats on another amazing year 2018 is gonna be such a big year for a lot of us so I'm trying to include everyone uh, let's hustle hard something very simple like that you don't just need to go on to say hashtags you can also use big name accounts as well like Gary V uh, Ty Lopez Grant Cardone you know people like that and like you know I'm always in there I'm always engaging with people commenting replying to them doesn't always have to be hashtags, like I said. So I'm always trying to engage with everyone everywhere. So I said YouTube, I said Instagram. I don't really use Twitter too much. I think it's uh, very spammy and just Twitter is a dying breed. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Instagram and YouTube are my main two platforms that I love to engage with because the communities there are so amazing, so helpful, and they're just thriving. So, so to talk results, like I said earlier in the video, it's hard to say where everyone came from. Uh, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what numbers I hit and you know stuff like that. I didn't really 
really even set out goals, guys. I didn't really set out goals. Like, I just took the strategy, implemented it, and yes, I got some results, but I, I wasn't really tracking them, so I apologize for that. If you guys want, like, concrete numbers and results. But what I could say is this, guys. I think I gained around 50 followers this past four or five days, I believe. So it wasn't a full week, but it was, like, four or five days I gained 50 followers. They weren't follow, unfollow people. I don't do follow, unfollow. I think it's a big joke. Uh, they don't engage with your stuff. It's stupid. Uh, don't ever do follow and follow. Uh, but I didn't do that. And I did exactly what I just told you guys. The 180 strategy. I gained 50 followers, 50-ish followers. And my engagement rate went up a lot. Um, just by engaging with people anyway, your engagement's always going to go up, right? It's all about building relationships. I made a video about this, about how to network on Instagram. I'll link it below. But it was like a very you know full-blown guide and like very in detail showing text conversations and all that, all that stuff. I think that's the best thing to do, guys. Like It doesn't always have to be on hashtags. It doesn't always have to be on YouTube or just Instagram, you know, be in the DMs all the time, building relationships with people and uh, you're going to get results. So yeah, my engagement definitely went up guys and I'm pretty happy about it. So definitely use this strategy guys, use it every single day and I hope the most success for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm going to just keep this video short and I'll see you guys in the next one.